sunrise, new days dawning, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee, we've got woodlands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no A friend, but don't delay. Listen up and learn about it all. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Listen up and learn about it all. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Good Saturday morning, and welcome to another edition of the award winning Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 here in Memphis, Tennessee, and all you good folks in Brownsville on 95.3 and 1520 a.m. And, of course, our good folks at News Talk 101.5 in Jackson, Tennessee. This is the third Saturday. I keep up with this because I expect uh, I can't do this alone. And over the years, uh, this man has the uh, FM voice. He fits in perfectly with us when we talk outdoors, and particularly we talk outdoors in Arkansas. Uh, but he has a lot of Memphis ties, and that's my good friend Frank Barton. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, everybody. And you're ready? I know. You'll probably get over to work at uh, Indian Motorcycle. We'll be talking about that. You got anything going on today? We do have something going on oh, today. Oh, I figured you did. This it's Saturday. Good. We always have something, something going on Something's going on on May the 18th. Uh, we're getting... Uh, uh, I know there's a one event going on this morning, that's for sure, and I'm going to get out there not too long after the show is off, and... Uh, it's one of my favorite events. Uh, you know how I feel about junior fishing rodeos. In fact, we're going to talk not only with this uh, gentleman, this friend of mine, but the next segment on fishing rodeos. But this man is uh, uh, the former president. Uh, he's supposed to be retired, but he's still, when it comes, something like this comes up, John Charles Wilson is there. Good morning, John Charles. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, Frank. Um uh, it's there. Hey, it, it's a beautiful day out here today. Yeah, yeah, we're ready for a lot of fun at the fishing. The it's the Agri Center Fishing Rodeo at uh, Junior Fishing Rodeo out at Ketchum Lake, right off uh, Walnut Grove and Farm Road. And Frank, uh, you know, I I have a partial partiality to fishing rodeos. Did you know that, Frank? I've known it for a great number of years. <laughs> a great number of years, and uh, and so it's just it's just so good to talk to John Charles. About this event, it, it kicks off registrations at seven, so you got plenty of time to get out there. So let's talk about the the rodeo. What's uh, what are the time frames this morning? Hey, Larry, you know it's early this morning, but we've already got you st- filing in here, <laughs> know you showing did. up, trying yeah. to get a spot. They want to go out on the lake right now. Of course, we hold them back, but yes, so that everybody can have the same opportunity. But but this uh, registration this morning starts at at seven a.m. and we start fishing at seven thirty fish for an hour and a half, and then we give all of these prizes we've got. Oh, we've got so many prizes. We've got bicycles, and we've got all kind of fishing Woo. rods, and and just just a great day. And, you know, we're fishing for catfish, and catfish. you know all about that. Yeah, now, so, cause now, now y'all, you and John Butler, the, 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 the your predecessor and the man at the Agri Center, uh, you were telling me about a young lady last year that had how many pounds? Sixty six. She caught sixty six catfish. Oh, uh, she caught sixty six catfish. She caught sixty six catfish, and I don't <laughs> remember what the total weight was because we didn't weigh them because she had caught more fish than anybody else, so she was the first place winner. We didn't have to break a tie. How did she get all those catfish to the checkout? I mean, I mean, did, did she... she had she had she was dragging them mostly <laughs> yeah. behind her. But uh, she had some help from from some adults, and and uh, it, was, it was incredible. And and 
Larry, we caught over 2,000 pounds of catfish last year out of the lake in that hour and a half period. That's amazing. That's incredible. That's incredible. And that, so that means there's nothing like uh, nothing left this year, right? Well, no, no. <laughs> we we stock this lake continually, and and uh, and you know, Larry, when we stock it with new fish, it yeah. stirs up all those old ones, and we really catch some big fish because of of that. In that hour and a half period, it stirs them all up, and we've caught some. 27, 28 inches long. You know, these are big catfish. <laughs> and the kids' uh, ages what? What are the ages, ages here? Ages uh, 5 through 13. 5 through 13, and, uh, okay. And, and we'll be fishing, as I said, from 7.30 to 9.30. And registration starts at 7. Uh, rodeo is for kids 5 to 13. And we're giving uh, prizes for the first fish caught in the boys and first fish in the girls. and. So fishing uh, for the most fish caught first and second place, and largest fish caught first and second place, and just showing up, we're giving prizes. We, <laughs> it's just prizes it's galore, folks. And this is a uh, right, like I say, get up, get on out there. You're listening right now. You got some grandkids. Here's your chance. And they say, well, I need, I can't catch any fish here. You at Ketchum Lake? Why would they have a name like that if you weren't able to catch fish? And and so, uh, tell them where it is again. It's right across from Chevy Farms Park on Walnut Grove Road. You won't have any trouble missing finding it because it's going to be all kind of cars around it. Yes. Just park wherever you can along the edge of the road, not on Walnut Grove Road, but out <laughs> yeah. on the, the, the yeah. side road that, yes. that, that goes through our property. Uh, and come on over and, and fish and, and get there on time, and we're going to talk about all the rules and regulations so that everybody has a good time or have a safe time. And hey, listen, we've got a new uh, sponsor this time. FedEx Employees Credit Association is with us. And That's we great. Really appreciate yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. Tennessee yeah. Department of Agriculture. And of course, our good friends with TWRA, Tennessee Wildlife Resources, and, and Helena Agri Enterprises. And Larry, we certainly appreciate all you do for us. And look forward when you get out here to be with us. For a I'll while. be out there, buddy. Don't, uh, unless, Lord willing, I'll be there after the show today, okay? We appreciate it. All right, all man. They, all these young youth have to do is bring a rod and reel and some bait and have a great time. They'll have it. Thank you, John Charles. See you in a little while, okay? Hey, thank you. Look forward to seeing you. Okay. John Charles Wilson in the uh, Acro Center Junior Fishing Rodeo. And uh, did you did you ever fish in the fishing rodeo? I did not. You didn't? Nope. Nope. You Never fished in the fishing rodeo. You weren't boycotting it or anything. You just oh, didn't no. Fish. It just wasn't in one... Just wasn't the thing that we did. But you like them? Oh yeah. I mean, I follow, I have followed uh, the uh, Mid South Junior fishing, fishing rodeo, rodeo for years, for ever since nineteen fifty one. You know when you know when Henry Reynolds was S. riding S Reynolds, Henry S Reynolds. Yeah, okay, Henry uh, S Reynolds, and then that. and then you, and then me, and then we just kept on going with the TWRA, but. Uh, right. There's going to be some changes in that, but we'll talk about that with Hunter Henley's coming up, and then we're going to talk about the, the toughest hunters in the Alps. Now, I know we've talked a lot, a lot of things on in 18 years on Outdoors with Larry Ray. I don't know if we've talked about this subject, but this will be the second annual one, and they're putting together 25 teams. Uh, I'd love to see a team from the Mid-South go over and think they can conquer uh, the toughest hunter in, in the Alps. And then, of course, the Hunters for the Hungry was a great program again this year. And we got some local kids that won that. We'll be talking about that. Uh, we have a new venue coming up in August that uh, has a new name, uh, has a new owner, new sponsors. Uh, and we're going to talk to uh, Brian Rowan a little bit about the new setup for the annual hunting and fishing show that we are also familiar with at the Agri Center. And then uh, the final one, Golden Trout. We're going to talk golden trout. That's right. They've got golden trout in Arkansas and a lot of stocking. It's got a lot of folks uh, really excited over in the mountain home area. We're going to talk about that. But, of course, you know, having Frank in here is uh, is my FM voice, and we might probably let him introduce a couple of ones because that's been requested by uh, his family, I think. But, uh, no, uh, you know, you said you got something going in your motorcycle. What you got going? Uh, it's... Today we have um, a uh, a poker run benefiting uh, cystic fibrosis. Good uh, sir. Great sir. And is uh, explain is, what is a poker run is sponsored by the Widow's Sons Motorcycle Club. It's a they're a Masonic 
Motorcycle Club. Well, and, tell us uh, what a poker run is. Poker run For the would one be, that doesn't know, you think you're all out there playing cards this morning. Sure. You know. Poker run would be you sign up for It's a fundraising event. It's a charitable cause. And you, you come in, you sign up, and we give you a, uh, you give a route. Uh-huh. And there are stops along the route that okay. you're supposed to. And at every stop, you go in and you um, draw from a deck of cards, and you pick a card out. And they cards recorded on your sheet of paper. Okay. And you go around, and when it's all said and done, you have five stops, and you'll have five cards. And the one and, with the best hand. And the person with the best hand wins uh, first prize. And normally there's first and second and third. And uh, what's the best? And there's hand some door prizes. What's well, the best depends. hand you've ever and seen? It, 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 what's the best hand you've ever seen? Uh, you typically, people. full house, uh, or you know, they'll, they'll be four full. They'll be full. They'll be no full house. Any four? I, haven't, I have never seen a four of a kind. You've never seen a four. I've that never, would really never, be something. Out I've of, never seen one, but yeah. that's not to say that in five that, stops that you right. could have that. You but know. It, the interesting thing about it is, is even though people win, uh-huh. when, uh, it is. Uh, Usual and customary within the motorcycle community that the winner donates the prize money back to the cause. That's great. And, that's great. Uh, Wonderful cause. Doesn't happen all the time, but normally it happens. And uh, so that's always How many do you think you might have? How many? I'm not, uh, this is one of the bigger ones. Um, uh, I, I would expect we'll have uh, probably close to 100 bikes. Really? Yeah. Mount you know, Mariah will be busy. We'll be we'll be busy at fifty seven fifteen Mount Mariah this morning. Okay, if you'd like to see the blast off, I don't know how you do that at the at the poker. No, we, we we send them out in groups. We Good. don't let them. We, okay, no, I don't want a hundred and something motorcycles taking off. We don't we don't send them all out at one time. That would cause disruption. But uh, the, and they all will be riding the Indian motorcycle. Uh, I hope a lot of them are, but uh, realize that not everyone will. Oh, but that's okay. Right. We we okay. we're. We yeah. support them all. They yeah, support them all. And Frank supports a lot of things. We'll even talk to Frank about the Grizzlies in the probably this morning because uh, I'm excited, okay? I'm excited. I am too. We can I, talk Grizzlies. We want that Mary State guy. Okay, I do. I don't know what you think about it, but I would yeah. like to have uh, anybody named Ja. Uh, anybody named Ja is fine with me. Fine with me too. All right, let's take a break. Come right back on Outdoors with Larry Ray. <laughs> 